Hey, what is going on guys? Tougher Chip back with another video and today we're actually playing Stormworks again. This is going to be part 2 of our survival series. Um, you may notice that I sound maybe a little bit different. I got a new mic as of last video if you did not notice there was a slight whistle the entire video and I did not notice it until it was actually uploaded. So yeah, I tried to do another video today earlier this morning then it was whistling again so that my mic just took a crap on me I had to go get a new one so yeah i'm using a hyper x um i would highly recommend it for anybody that is looking for a new mic because it is actually just wonderful like everything about it is it's just super good but anyway i think today we're just gonna work on our ship a little bit more and just you know fix some stuff up about it that should be fixed up over it um so i've learned a little bit more about stormworks and actually quite useful stuff that i probably could have known but it's not gonna hurt anything so rope anchors we definitely need some of those um so if we have these at the front of our boat and the sides of our boat in the back uh what we can do is we can have rope uh, what are they called uh rope Okay, so rope inventory equipment stuff. You can get one of these, and for instance, like inside, you place it down. You can go and uh, collect this CE on it, and you can tie it to a rope anchor that's anywhere I place on this boat, which is going to be the front, sides, and the back. And you can attach it to another boat, so if you're in high uh, seas, you won't drift away from the boat. You guys will kind of stick together. But it's also kind of bad because if you... Um, you know, attach a rope to a boat, and that boat hits a wave, you can end up getting underneath the boat and capsize and probably sink. Uh, so, yeah, that's the only thing I'm kind of worried about. But other than that, everything should be fine. So, I'm going to go ahead and attach or build a couple of these really quickly. Okay, so actually, the first thing we should probably do is turn on mirror mode. And, yeah. So, I'm not really going to continue, or I'm not going to make this a whole nother shipbuilding, uh, you know, what do you call it, video, this ain't gonna be a shipbuilding video, this is gonna be like a half though, if that makes sense, um, so we're just gonna build a little bit of the ship, and we're just gonna continue on with the rescuing stuff, because I find that stuff probably a little bit more interesting, even for you guys, probably a little more interesting, so, alright, so what we're gonna do is attach two rope anchors right there too, okay, good, so now, we've got all those, which is perfect. Actually, we need to fix uh, this stuff too. So let's go ahead and grab that. Uh, that's going to be a, probably an issue when we get our doors down. Rip. And actually, do we even have enough to um, research the doors? Or learn the doors, I guess you could call it. Let's go ahead and check. So if we hit M, go to research, we can... Oh, no. We don't. Okay, so that's fine. Is my boat there? Or did it sink? It's not there. Oh. Uh, yeah, we're not going to mention it. Okay, so our boat. Okay, it just didn't spawn now. I must hit cancel or something. That's fine. Um. Okay, so I don't know how I'm going to do my stuff in here. Maybe like... Uh, maybe I'll put some stuff right here. Maybe on the outside I need stuff too, huh? I don't know. I really don't know. Because I need to put inventory stuff in here. Okay. A fire extinguisher would be a very big one. Especially like if we catch on fire or something. So we'll just take one of these bad boys. How tall are they? Three? Yes. Okay. We'll stick one of these just right here for now. To a later date. Is that upside down? It is. Boom. Okay. So we're going to need welding torches, a hose, flashlight, flare gun. Man, there's a lot of stuff. Holy crap. Cables. Compass. Huh. Okay. Well, I've got a lot of learning to do about some. Actually, I guess I don't really need to learn. Some of this stuff self-explanatory. So, uh, yeah. I think what we'll go ahead and do is place down two welding torches. Because I guess we can never really have too many of those. Especially for repairs. 
Okay, so ropes. Here we go. So we're gonna have a little bit of ropes kind of everywhere. Just cause... Oh yeah, we gotta delete these blocks too. Okay, so I think we're gonna have a rope here. That doesn't break anything. No, okay. Just so we don't have to go inside the ship to grab one because... I would imagine the only reason we needed a rope up to another ship is if the waves are like very high on another ship or on another ship. The waves are very high on the ocean, so I have to attach myself to another ship. There we go. I'm lost for words again. Um Okay. So let's go and place some down right here too. Actually let's do both sides. Okay. Cool thing, or cool things about this is they don't. You can put them in the wall, so they're not necessarily like in the way or anything. That's uh, pretty cool. Okay, so I think I'm gonna work on a little bit of the ship. I'm gonna time lapse it again. Uh, sorry for the guys. Hopefully, you guys all enjoy the time lapses because I do. But um, yeah, I'm gonna go take a time lapse, and when I'm done with this, I'll uh, get back to you guys. So enjoy. <music> Alrighty guys, we are back. I've got a little bit more added to the ship. I've actually added a nav lights. I don't know if they go a certain direction or if they actually, it doesn't matter if they're just like that. But yeah, that's about, you know, pretty much all I've done. I added a empty a slot there. So if we find like scuba gear in another ship or something, we just go to it and we're good. Actually, I need to check one thing though before I do that. That is going to be my fuel, and I gotta put this to my bottom fuel tank. Okay, it's lagging. That's fine. Good. Okay, so we'll go ahead and spawn that. And we'll see if we have another mission. I don't know how we get missions, or if we just have to wait for a mission. I don't, I don't know. Fog, temperature, wind. How's the wind? I don't know. I guess it's bad. Is that what it means? Um, actually, I'm gonna leave this in the workbench and go to uh, sleep and spawn it in the morning, so we don't uh, the boat doesn't end up sinking on us, cause that would actually suck. Okay, let's bunny hop up here. Go ahead and sleep, and we'll get back in the morning. Alrighty, guys. We um, have slept. Looks like our flashlight is out of battery, which is kind of a kind of a dud. We actually might have to fix that. I don't know how to fix this, so we'll figure that out. Um, we got a uh, mission saying a vehicle has broken down in the middle of the ocean. Um, so it's actually pretty light waves out, so I don't think it's going to be that big of an issue. I want to get an empty inventory though. Let's see if I can charge my flashlight that way or something. I don't know if that's how you charge them or or what, but that's what I want to do. Actually, I don't need that many. I'll just I'll just do that for now. Okay. Um, let's go and plug that in. Uh, like that. We'll save that. We'll stick our flashlight in that. See if that actually helps. Or I will, forgot to shut my flashlight off. So. Yeah. Is it going to charge? Yeah. Okay. I think it's going to charge. Let's go and figure out where we got to go. Um, so they're broke down there. They need to get hauled there. Let's see. Do we have a rope and stuff just to double check? 
Uh, it's on the outside of the boat, that's right. So yeah, so if I believe if we grab the rope, we can attach it to that. And yeah, attach it to another one, for example, we could do this one, but I don't want to do that, so. How do I disconnect it? I just, do I have to attach it? Um, I just, I don't know, I gotta learn, so. I gotta learn somehow. Alright, let's go ahead and get on our way. We'll go clutch in, throttle up, and start our engine. We gotta fix this toggle button, too. Uh, temperature, temperature, we didn't have battery power, but that should be not too big of an issue. This boat is fast. Which is quite nice. Um, let's go ahead and ping where their location is, which is about there. Um, yeah. How's our temperature doing? Pretty good, still rising, fuel. Yeah, it looks about good. By the way, we have med kits now, so just in case we get workers, or not, yeah, workers, or what, whoever is on our ship, if they're damaged, we can actually heal them up, and yeah. So, I don't know if we can revive somebody by doing that, or, or what, but yeah. Yeah, I like this boat. It's small, but it's, I don't know, it's kind of weird, but it works in its own ways. Okay, that's not what we gotta try not to do. Maybe we should just sit down. Because I definitely don't want to fall off. But. Alright, we're pinned. I guess I'll give you guys... Uh, how far is it? 1.2 kilometers out. I'll go and give you guys a, a time lapse. There. So. All right, that was kind of a short little time lapse. I was a little bit farther away, uh, but yeah, we're back. It's almost nighttime, so we actually got goggles up here, which you can't grab the top binoculars without doing getting out of our seat. But actually, yeah, we can, right there. Okay. Um. Oh, oh, that's not good. I need to pay attention, don't I? Uh, we're good. Okay, that's fine. Uh, this boat. Do we have to flip this boat over, or is it good like that? Um. Great. I guess we'll just sit here like this. Uh, that's fine. Um, should I try to flip it over? Is that what we have to do here? Or, or what? Okay. Let's try not to die here. Damn, swimming in the ocean is definitely very dangerous. Um, yeah. Oh, okay, we got it. Good. Oh, I, okay, I left clicked it. That's what it was. So, right? We got it now? I guess? I think we did it. Okay, so find out. Yeah, okay. So let's just, let's put her in reverse so we can flip her. Because if we can flip it, that'd be great. I don't want to give it too much power because I don't want to generate batteries. Yeah, let's pull ourselves stuff off. Okay, are we going to be able to... No? Okay, I don't think we're going to be able to flip it. I thought it was going to be a little bit different. Uh, that's fine though. So we'll just... We're going to take her off reverse. Alright, uh, give me my my rope back. Right. Alright, so can I store it? Store it, good. Um, I'll pull up next to it real quick. And it's kind of dark, but that's we're just turning on the lights. The reason I'm kind of scared to turn on our deck lights is because I don't know how much battery we're going to have. 
but okay um can we get to the left of that hopefully just yeah i'd rather pull it from the front anyway come on oh my god it's actually okay why is it pushing that It's a little irritating, but I guess it's fine. Alright, so let's wait till it stops moving a little bit. We'll attach the back end to the front of their boat. Which actually, we'll just go ahead and do that now. Okay, equip. Okay, attach to there. Then we'll go ahead and uh, try to attach this as easy as we can. Um, it's dark as hell. We probably should have done this a little earlier. Come on. What, what what's going on? Are you, are you you okay? You all right? Um okay, there we go. Sorry, we're having a little bit of difficulties here. My character I don't know. I've got to learn the swimming basics of this game. I don't know. They're they're weird. Cuz I can see my motor from the outside of my boat, but I guess that's fine. All right, so they're connected. That's good. Uh, we in reverse. We're not. That's good. Oh, that's not what we wanted. Uh, is, actually, is our flashlight charging? It is. Good. I like that. Oh, yep. Our bat. Our motor is about to die. That's what I was afraid of. Okay, that's fine. Uh, we got a big, big journey apparently. Set waypoint. So. Um, as long as they don't flip, I guess we'll be good. I would try to flip this boat, but, you know, as you guys seen, I tried to flip it, and it just didn't really, you know, didn't really work. So. Um, this is going to be a long journey. I probably already see it ahead. I already, already see it coming. But, that's fine. Come on. Don't flip on me. We're kind of pulling it from the right side, but there's not much we can do about that. So we just got to keep an eye on it. We should be fine. Um, yeah. How are our nav lights? Can we just have our nav lights on? Is that better than nothing? Yeah, okay. I uh, know. Might as well just keep. Might as well just keep the big lights on. Screw it. Worst comes to worst. Uh, I don't know. Actually. We've been getting a lot of cash for this. Oh no. Don't tell me the waves are going to pick up. Oh, we got to be careful with our flood ports. I forgot. I need to rise those up some. So we're, Right now, I do not want to uh, kill our engine. Because for some reason, I put my flood ports right there. And the water's right next to it. So, uh, yeah. So, just got to keep our eye out for that. But it should be fine. Shouldn't have any issues. Just might take a bit. Alright, were we pinned? No, we are now. Might as well just pin it. Oh, boy. I would figure it'd be leaning to the right, considering I'm kind of pulling to the right. Oh man, it it wants to flip though. That's weird. I don't know what its deal is. Can I? Is there a way I can set it to where it won't do that? Oh yep, 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 yep. All right, that was kind of dumb of me. Um, how far are we from the waypoint? 3.9. I think we're having a little bit more problems going fast. So I think if we stick with 80, we should be fine. Cause I don't know. Boop. 
We definitely need more weight on the bottom of this boat. All right, yeah, we're, we're definitely turning a lot better going slower. So that's good. We'll just keep it around, what are we at, 80? Yeah, we'll keep it around 80. We should be fine. Um, maybe spotlights would be a good idea and also more batteries. Uh, maybe more batteries. I guess I could add weight. So yeah, I guess we could do batteries. Never really have too many batteries, so. And generators on our engines. That would be smart, too. There's a lot of stuff I need to do that I haven't done. Um, honestly, I'm pretty excited to see how my mic is going to sound in my recording. Um, hopefully you guys can't hear any of my background stuff. Oh, no, off this recording. I'm doing now. Uh, what I need to adjust, because I guarantee I got to adjust something. But... Yeah. Hell, you never know. Maybe I don't have to adjust anything. Maybe it's perfect. Oh, I'll actually have a good mic. I'm I'm actually very happy because I've had my old mic for a long time. Like, or I guess, okay, what, I guess it depends on what you consider a long time. For a long time for me, it's been like five, five months. So that's, that's a long time for me. But it finally, finally, I guess took a crap because um, it just, it would not stop whistling. And I just, I don't know just annoying plus i had to yell into it for my friends to hear me over discord so the fact that i can just you know kind of talk across my room and them hear me clear as day is actually fantastic i love it so uh yeah i dropped um a lot of money on this another keyboard too the other day about about a week ago and I thought I was not gonna have any other problems with PC. That's the only reason I did it. And as soon as that, pretty as soon as I did that, my mic started just, you know, doing its thing, I guess. So. But, you know, oh well. It's cool. I don't regret it. I mean, we're like right on line, aren't we? Uh, ooh, we gotta go left. We're having a lot of problems. Damn, we're listing very bad on our left side. Is that boat? Okay. If that boat doesn't sink, we should be fine. If that boat sinks, it's probably going to drag us down with it. So that's that's my only concern. Um, I definitely don't want to do that. We definitely probably need to add flood pumps too, now that I'm thinking about it. At least one at the bottom. Should be fine, hopefully. Alright, um, I gotta turn our, our trim up to our left a little bit more. I think the only problem is while we're trying to list too much to the, or yeah, that's, that's probably why we're listing to the right or left a lot. And by our boat's trying to turn right, it's because the wind is kind of broadsiding us a little bit here. Because we are a giant wall, technically, I guess. So... But I would imagine with the rope towing from the top uh, of the right side of the boat, it would, um, you know, be a lot better of kind of a stance, if that makes sense. But I don't know. I don't know much about water and weight and stuff like that. So I'm just glad it's towing. I was just hoping it wasn't a big boat. If it was a big boat, then I would have just cried. How's our flashlight? 61%? That's good. Alright. Looks like our battery's doing good can, like for our lights. Our lights are still pretty bright, so. That's good. I think I'm gonna pin it a little bit more. Uh, we're starting to list a lot more, so I'm gonna change our trim up a little bit. I'm trying to do my best to keep the uh, ports out of the water. That's one thing I need to fix on this boat. I need to rise them up to the roof. I don't know why I didn't do that. I guess I was lazy or something. I'm not sure. But I mean, this boat is honestly not a bad boat for something I put together real fast. Like, it's actually pretty nice. I, I gotta slow down so we can turn. Oh, oh. Watch that port. Good. All right, what are we at? 82, 82. 
Okay, considering we're out there and we're right here, we're making pretty good deep progress. I, I, I stopped here in my boat for a second. I thought we went under. I was like, crap. What is this? Is this a mega island? I think it is. Alright. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, I can see trees. I want to pin it so bad, but I know as soon as I do that, we're going to flip to the left a lot. I need to add more bottom weight to this ship a lot more just so it can sit in the water more. And when I'm towing stuff, it doesn't try to flip on me. It's the best thing I could possibly do. Um, are we drifting right? I wouldn't think we would be. Alright, let's do 88. Oh. Set a trim up to 10. Alright, maybe 7 actually. Oh yeah, we're drifting hard right. That's weird. Uh, I guess the boat is pushing us to the, the right, technically. Um, so. I guess that would make sense. So then we gotta stick away from the coast, too. Oh. Where is it? Are we? Maybe we're not, and the wind's just pushing the, the exhaust left. I don't know, it's gonna be confused now. Because it kind of makes sense saying that. Um, yeah. I think I'm seeing where we need to go, though. All the lights flickering back there. I think that's where we gotta go. Which it is almost direct midnight, so. Yeah. Glad I did these rope attachments. I learned that from watching a YouTuber yesterday, and I was like, oh, that's actually very cool, very smart. I'm gonna do that. But. They've. Made this game a lot more difficult, but they've also made it a like, really cool. The only thing that's eh about the game, I think, is the swimming mechanic. Or not really, I think, but that's the only thing. Because it's kind of a little glitchy, I would say. But overall, really awesome game. Um, yeah. I built a water plane. Um, off camera. Also, so if you guys want to see me build like a, a water plane for this series, we can actually you know, fly around, land on water, take off and all that stuff on it. Just uh, let me know in the comments and I could do that in the next couple of episodes. Like maybe like to a sixth episode or seventh episode, I'll try to do that. Yeah, I'll try to earn a little bit of, maybe, might earn like money off, I don't know. Because I don't really want to earn money off camera because then, you know, it's not really a series. I don't want to do a bunch of stuff off camera and be like, hey, this is what I've done, you know. But, I kind of want to keep it to where it's everything I've done you guys have seen. Oop. Okay, so we're kind of good to head straight up onto it now. We're not really close to land, which is great. Okay. Um. Just trying to line her up. Okay, good. Definitely glad trim is an option. That is a also a cool thing. Oh man. I remember when my ship was drifting um I think a couple series ago on my last Stormark series. It was drifting like hard right or hard left and I could not figure it out. And I figured out that my trim was bugged. Or not bugged, but I was pressing random buttons on my keyboard that I shouldn't have been pressing. So it was kinda you know, irritating for me because I couldn't figure that out or why. But all right, we're about a kilometer out. We made some pretty good progress in the past. I don't know how long. Ten minutes have we been on this thing for? No way. Jesus, if we have been. Um. Yeah. By the way, also, if you guys want to check out the mic I'm using, I'll leave a link in the description. And you guys, if you guys are looking for a new headset to buy, uh, you just check this one out. It's a, 
sorry, it's a Hyper X. It's I paid for mine around 160, including tax and all that. So, oh man, we're drifting. But yeah, that's how that goes. I should probably put my uh, equipment in. Actually, no, I think it's just streaming stuff where I just put all my equipment that I have. Uh, my buy off, but I think this is the streaming stuff. I would do that on Discord, or not Discord, uh, YouTube, but eh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm barely talking, and I can see that my volume is actually working very well, and that just makes me actually happy, because I used to have to, like, kind of speak up and yell. <laughs> so, but I don't know. Just something to talk about. I'm blabbing now. Okay, we're almost there. Man, there was a hospital there too, huh? That's cool. For, uh, I guess, the train tracks. Oh, I forgot. We're gonna have to haul cargo crates too. Oof. Gotta figure out how to do that now. We'll probably have two different boats then, I guess. One rescue boat, one for hauling crates, I guess. Um, yeah, something like that. <clears throat> okay we're almost there uh yeah i don't know where they want me to drop it off is somebody waiting for me there that is that yeah what is that is that just my engine i guess oh yeah that's a big crate look at that thing the fuel it's like right behind the light let me yeah a big yellow box i gotta haul one of those soon oh that's scary i gotta figure out how long and wide and everything that is and i don't know how heavy those are so if we load one of those onto a new ship we capsize and they're likely go 70 grand probably i spent into that new thing because it's got to be pretty big that creates the size of this boat i mean hell But let's have like a little trailer behind this boat I just loaded onto, but that you know, yeah. Okay, so where do you guys want it? I wonder. Just right there. Somewhere right here. We are driving up on it, yeah. There we go. Only 2,000? God. Okay. Guess it's not too bad. Alright. Be careful. I think that boat's gonna get close to us, but that's fine. Uh, detach. Okay, let's go and put this up now. Store. There we go. Perfect. So we only got 2,000? Yep. That's about it. Okay about it let's go and get rid of our waypoint we'll set it back to our home base which is right there we need to add a bed on this thing too probably just so I can sleep um yeah that's what I was gonna do research doors I can't research doors that's a rip and chat okay that's fine yep Electricity is going down a lot for this thing. I right, fix our trim. Come on, raid, raid. Oh, 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 there you go. Perfect. And that's cool. 2,000. I mean, eh, that's. I guess that's a good amount. I mean, help. All right, we gotta travel another three kilometers. Um, surprisingly enough, this video, for me, it's been 40 minutes, but I've done a couple of time lapses and stuff. So I think if it got up to YouTube right now, I think the video would be around 25 minutes long, which is kind of where I want it to be. I know we actually did nothing in this series. We hauled the boat. But, I mean, heck, this game is just a long process, really. 
I'm just glad I'm getting videos out now. I'm getting time. I'm forcing time into my day to do it, which is pretty cool. So, or yeah, I don't know about pretty cool, but lost for words. Okay. Ooh, what is that? Why is it blue? Temperature green, rain. It's raining a lot everywhere we are. Fog, no fog. What? What? Okay, that scared me. Alright. Okay, that was loud. See, every time that scares me. It's a nice boat. I think next episode I'm going to add a spotlight on top somewhere. And maybe some more equipment, more detail. Maybe we'll add a paint job to it also. So it's not just all white. And hopefully we can get doors on next episode too. Because um, that, what we just did gave us jack it 2000 with like i guess no research points it did it give us any if it did it probably gave us two i think maybe i don't know i'll have to check but um yeah oh how's our field doing field's doing great 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 um yeah, we need to move our fuel pumps up, or fuel ports up, too. I think I might do that off camera, and just that, and leave everything else. And just do the rest of that on camera, or I'll, uh, time lapse it or something. So, um, I don't know what that was. Oh, okay, I figured it out. Um, I was unmuted in Discord and it kind of scared me. I was like, oh god, what just happened? I accidentally misclicked. Um, anyway. It's an island there. Let's probably avoid that, huh? Sitting there is definitely not our island, anyway. Our lights are getting dimmer. That's kind of... That's uh, kind of scary a little bit. Oh, maybe that button, too. We gotta move that button up, too, so it's not just hanging out of the ceiling like that. Alright. I want to add a downstairs. It's got another. There's a lot of room for a downstairs. If we can just add one of those, just add like a hatch right here, going straight down. That'd be kind of cool, I think. But there's not really much we could do with the downstairs. Probably just a repair room or something. I don't know. A place to add my people so they don't drown or I don't know. In this case, there's giant waves or something. We'll have seats downstairs and I can just put all my people inside in the hole so they can't drown or. Get hit by a shark or a megalodon, eat the back of our boat off and kill all of them. Just any of that. Hey, at least no one died this episode. That's good. I'm um, kind of loud, but last episode somebody died and I couldn't do anything about it. It's a rip. Didn't have any med kits or anything. I was not prepared. Now we are. First aid kits. Ooh, that's cool. It's just outside the back of the boat, you know? Oh, let's take our flashlight, too. There we go. Just to have. Can't wait till we get a new island. Once we get a new island, we actually get... Um... A bigger ships. That's gonna be great, too. The only bad thing is the rail tracks are right here, so we're gonna have to have a pretty low boat to get under that. Which is kind of a bit uh, annoying, but you know, it's fine. We'll have to make do with what we got. Alright, about 100 meters out. Coming in hot. Literally. Coming in actually pretty hot. All right. Yeah, we're probably gonna boop the front of it, but that's fine. Did we? Did we hit it? Oh yeah, we we be nice there a little bit. Alrighty, guys. Well, I'm kind of sorry that it was kind of a kind of a lame episode. We didn't really do much today. Literally hauled a flipped over boat. I mean, I guess the boat was kind of interesting to see, uh, capsize and all that, but. 
Um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this little video. Um, like I said, ne or last episode, be uh, prepared to see more of more Stormwork series because we've got a lot planned for these uh, next couple of videos. So, uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys have a lovely day and thank you guys for watching. So, peace out.